Hi everyone, Emma here. I'm excited to show you. I finally finished all my Christmas balls to send to my nieces and to my sister in Toronto. But before I did that, I wanted to um, show you something that I did with them. And that is, I made a hook to go on the Christmas ball. And let me just show you this here. And I'm going to show you how to make it. <laughs> so I just use things that I had around. So I have some earring hooks and I created a nice round loop with the earring hook and put a little loop on the end to, to fancy it up. And um, then a piece of chain. And the chain's optional. You can go directly to what I have here, which is a pinch bail. So I hooked that up like that, but I thought it would be nice. This way you can hang this anywhere. It doesn't have to go on the tree. Um, and if you do have it on the tree, like it's up to you how low you want to hang it. You can take that chain off. Not a big deal if you don't want it that low, but there you go. So this is the gold one. It turned out amazing. And these are actually, they're not attached, so they can come off and go on to another ball. So that's really lovely too. So there's this one. So beautiful. I'm sure they're gonna flip out. I'm kind of surprised myself. I had, this is one of the times that I didn't have a picture in my mind ahead of time. It was just, so let me try this. So let me try that. And it turned out really lovely. So that's the gold one. I'll show you that one and then this is the silver one and again I put a pinch bale I just had some whole bunch of pinch bales they're like super cheap from jewelry supply stores and then added a piece of chain here this is a smaller chain I added six links to this it basically is the same as the other one and then this one this has a little fancy ball on the end these are earring hooks again so it turned out really nice so let's go ahead oh and I should show you so this one wasn't finished when I finished doing the um, the tutorial for these uh, Christmas balls so this is the silver one it turned out amazing isn't that beautiful and these are the preciosa pearls they're so lovely and um, the Swarovski bicone four millimeter bicone crystals I think these are um, silver double. I can't remember what they call those ones, but they're totally silver. You don't see like the uh, the glass part of it. And then this is the side. Like that. So it turned out lovely. So let's make some hooks for them so this is the pinch bale now the one that I have has a little um, this part here to hook on to your necklace and I take that off so this one it looks like it's welded at the bottom so I'm just going to take my clippers and it's welded quite well so if you're you know working with the stuff just be careful your eyes these do fly up in your face I've had them hit me Hit my glasses so let me just get in here and be careful not to cut your loop <laughs> so I'm just gonna do that and cover it it's quite strong you might have to adjust get in here I don't want to crush the uh, the loop here. There, that, that should do it. There you go. It just comes off. And I actually hang on to these because you could probably use it. I don't know. Like they're pretty strong, so you could get it to close. I hang on to stuff. <laughs> Can you tell? I'm a hoarder. So then you could just take that, open it, and push it onto the hole here but we'll attach everything first so let's go to our chain and 
use our pliers here. Get my flat nose and just twist it open like that. And you put your pinch bail on that side and then close it. See that? I've been thinking about different designs to do after I get done with all this Christmas stuff. And um, I was thinking I have not done strong bracelets in a while and I kind of miss it in this part here of, you know, putting your chain on and stuff like that. It reminds me of like the kind of things that's really quick and fun because you get results so quickly. So time to add some of those in there so take your earring wire you can take whatever you have I do have one of these um, barrel type uh, round nose pliers so what I do is I take my earring hook and put the hook part on the inside here and slide it onto the biggest circle you have now I realized after I did a few of these, this is actually not the biggest that you could go with this because you see how much wire you have left. This part here will be the loop, but you have all of this here. So you could actually do a bigger loop. Depends your Christmas tree if you have um, like a blue spruce or something like that where it's really the branches are narrow, then this hook would work fine. But you might want to do it a little bit bigger if you had, I don't know, I, I think it's balsam, where the, the branches are like flatter. So now I'm just going to close this and hold it into place. And then I just, let me, let me turn this here. Let me do it this way so I have an idea where I'm at. Okay, so we want this one to be 90 degrees from the, the loop. But let's bring this loop over and you can, these are so bendy, not a big deal. And then we're going to, I'll use my pliers for this one. I just turn this, I'll do about a 45 and then check. I eh, could go about 90, I think. So something like that. Okay, and you know what? I leave it on here. It's just easier to hang on to. But you might want to take it off to do your loop. Let's see if we can do this on camera. It's a little easier when you're doing it off camera. So I'm just going to put my round nose pli pliers. Let me flip it this way. And this way. At the tip here. And we're going to press down and turn it. And you want to do... A small enough um, loop. It's just for decoration to kind of finish it off. So it doesn't need to be big. Something like that. Let's just straighten that out. That should do it. And then take that off. And that's what you have. So when you hook it onto your branch, so that's why I was kind of questioning about the 90 degree because you kind of want this down a bit so that it doesn't slide off your branch. But I'm pretty sure like this stuff is so bendable, it's easy to... And then we're going to hook this onto our chain. So let's open this side here. And again, just do like a little twist. I'm going to bring this up a little easier to see. Now, the other thing is we did not open the chain. You can always open your loop here. So it's up to you. And close that back up. And make sure it's... Nice and snug there. So I'll show you. So this is what you have now. And there's your pinch bail. 
So this, these are usually pretty easy, but you can use your pliers to open these as well. And just grab your hook or your ball, put it on there, and squeeze. Now you can like just these have the the little um because they're meant for like a, a thicker um, pendant, so there's a lot of space there. If you're concerned about that opening up, you can actually kind of move them sideways a bit and then they'll cr kind of cross over. I think I have one that's like that. So just I'm going to leave that one, but let me see if I can find. Yeah, so this one kind of crossed. Oh, but that one didn't either. This is the one maybe? Yeah, so this one crossed over the other side. So it closed it up a little better. But they're both fine. It's just if you think that this might get loose or something. But I mean, they, it's not going to be like people are bumping up against them. So, so there's those. Let's make this one here. So let's start with this little ear wire. This one looks teeny tiny. Look at look that. Oh. So I hope everybody's doing well. Oh my goodness, there's a big snowstorm heading to um, Newfoundland and uh, Cape Breton today. We were supposed to get it starting at 8 this morning and um, didn't happen. So it must have. So again, this one's super easy to maneuver I had one of my final doctor's appointments specialist for the year I have to disclaimer here because uh, I see the oncologist for my breast cancer in January but uh, so, yeah, we were at the hospital at 8 this morning, and we had to get up at 6 to be there for 8. We're retired. <laughs> That's what we keep telling people. We don't do first thing in the morning. But you know what? It was really nice because there was nobody there. It was really quiet. I was kind of surprised. But here's the other thing. People are waiting for the storm, so people... We're probably canceling stuff and so I think that's but you can do any design. Now I was gonna do some designs with um wire and um but I didn't have the right size wire. I, I'm surprised that I ran out and um yeah, so maybe another time when I and the reason the size of the wire mattered is I was going to do like the ones that um, Stephanie from Bronze Pony did and the wire was too big for my beads that I wanted to put on. So that's why I tried to figure out a different way. So this one here, again, it's not super, super welded at the bottom and you can see there is a little kind of notch to go through. So I am going to open that up with my cutters. I go through these so much because this is not what they're meant for. These are meant for wire, not this kind of stuff. I, if you look at mine, like these aren't too bad. This is a new pair. Well, actually, I can see they're kind of chunked up from cutting stuff like this. I'm a bad girl. But this, this metal is it's kind of gray inside, so it's definitely um, it's some type of mix of metal. So again, I just saved those. That looked... Some of these, this is the shape they're in, so I'll just kind of straighten them a bit. We won't say it's me that did that when I was trying to cut it off. <laughs> it wasn't me! It reminds me of the, the I, I can't remember, like some commercial with two little boys and they're in the shower, but they're like, they're fully clothed 
they're in the shower and uh, they're all covered in green something. I don't know if it's soap or whatever. And one's younger than the other and the mother's like, who did it? <laughs> and the one's like going like this to his brother. <laughs> What's the man? Cracks me up every time. They're so funny. The wee ones, they must be getting so excited at Christmas. We used to get so excited about Christmas. It was like unbelievable. I can't see an opening on this one. Oh, there it is. I love this chain. It's like a champagne gold with that kind of um, textured. And I <laughs> every time I go to make bracelets, strong bracelets, I'll be like, let me put this on there. But I always I'm looking for the right thing to put on. So this one's a little snug, but it still goes on. There. And there's the, this one. Isn't that pretty? I mean, you could do earrings and not like flip it the other way, but I like to do things differently. As, as my wife says, I uh, march to the beat of my own drum or something like that. I always get the sayings wrong. <laughs> she gets laughing at me. So then I'll just put that on. Nice little squeeze. That one crossed over. So there we go. And this is like these turn. So you can, if you want this to the front. And again, like I said, these are not attached. Like they're just loose so you can always spin it if like some of these balls these are super inexpensive balls so you can see the seam so you can always put the bigger part over the seam like this like that so there you go there's that one and this one. Let's see if we can turn out of it. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned. Bunch of videos coming in the next couple of days. I'm just I gotta pack these and send them off. <laughs> and I have yeah I have calves. I'm gonna do that one next, and then we'll get those sent out. So thank you everybody for the wonderful comments. People have been really sweet and and excited about these Christmas balls. They really turned out nice. It was really really nice to share that with you and to have the input. It was great. So take care, everybody. Stay warm. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.